What's up, Film Jammers? Have you ever wanted to be a Jedi Knight or maybe a Sith Lord or race your pod against some Bulba? Well, this week we're gonna show you how to create a lightsaber effect in Photoshop. Kinda like this. Oh! 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 Expert in Photoshop, you will be. Okay, so I have a few photos here that we took on our Canon 5D. And as you can see, without the lightsaber effect, they're holding lightsabers, but they don't look that great. Not cool? Pretty cool. Average? Forcerific. Approve this tutorial. I do. So the first thing you wanna do is open up your photo into the Photoshop Camera Raw app. And once you get it in there, this was actually the original photo that I had. I came in here and I adjusted some of the sliders, I brought the highlights down, the exposure up, the shadows up a bit, and I also think most Star Wars pictures look better with quite a bit of clarity, so I up that to 60. Once you get all your settings adjusted how you like them, uh, just open that image up into Photoshop. Okay, so step two is going to be selecting your lightsaber. So as you can see, this photo has two lightsabers. So we're actually gonna select each one separately. So I like to use the polygon lasso tool, which is up here. So I'm gonna select that. And basically just come in here and start selecting your lightsaber. Go a few pixels outside of the actual edge of the lightsaber. You'll see why, but later that's gonna help you. Try and round this out a little bit here if you can. Okay, so once we have our first saber selected, we now wanna kinda of feather the edges because lightsabers, they don't have harsh edges. They're nice and soft. So we're gonna go up here to the Select menu and we're gonna go to Modify. We're gonna just expand it maybe four pixels, okay? And that's basically gonna make it a little bigger than what we selected. So four pixels, expanding it. And then we're gonna come in here and go back to the Select menu, Modify, and we're gonna feather it. And I like to feather about 10, eight to 10 pixels. So let's do eight pixels. Okay, so now we've got a, a little bit of a smoother selection. And now, step three. We're gonna create a new layer. So we're gonna come down here, click new layer. I'm gonna call this Saber One. And on this layer, what we're gonna do is fill this selection that we have here with white. So over here, I have white as my background layer, so you can use Command D, and you've got your white there. You can kind of see we have the beginnings of a lightsaber. So now that you have your saber shape, what you're gonna to wanna to do is create that nice soft glow that all lightsabers have. And we're going to come over here and add a layer style, double click your layer to bring that up. So once we select our layer style, we're gonna to go to outer glow here. All right, and then make sure you select your color. Make it nice and saturated, I think it looks better. Um, I think the spread can depend on the image, but um, I like to use a lower number. It's at 10% right now, I'm gonna go to 2%. And that kind of gets rid of that little rim around there. And it makes it look a little more smooth. Um, and then as far as size, you can kind of play with this depending on how much glow you want. I, I personally like around 150 seems to look pretty good. Um, and then make sure your blending mode, this is important, is on screen. With the normal, it doesn't quite blend as much in my opinion, so I like to use screen. Um, and then just hit, you can see before and after, and then just hit okay. So now we have our glow around the saber and it's getting pretty close to looking like a, a legit lightsaber. Okay, step five, this is something I like to do to add a little more realism. I'm gonna make a new layer over here and I'm gonna call this Reflections Saber One. So what this is for is to simulate the lightsaber actually reflecting or glowing onto the person's clothes or their face. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the airbrush here. And I like to put it around 20% opacity and around 20% on the flow. And then what you wanna do is come here and select a color. So we're gonna select a color similar to this orange. And then on that reflections saber layer, we're gonna come here and start painting where, where you'd think that that would 
be reflecting on his clothes. So probably in this area, he'd have a little orange. Maybe on his face here, he'd have some orange. Definitely his hand would have some orange reflection. And probably down here on his tunic as well. Now what helps this look more realistic is blending modes. So you can come in here and play around with this. I found that overlay works pretty well. That's before and that's after. So you see kind of on his face, he's got a little orange glow. On his tunic, he's got some orange down here. And it just gives it a slight more realistic look. And you can kind of add this to taste, you know, how much you think you need per photo that you're using. All right, so now we have the outer glow on the saber. We've got some nice reflections. The last step that I like to do is to create a little eye light. So again, we're gonna create a new layer to do that. So I'm gonna make a layer and call it eye light saber one. Okay, so we're gonna zoom way in here to the eye. Now, if he actually had a lightsaber in his hand, there would be quite a lot of light coming off that reflecting in his eye. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that same orange color and you see right there where that little pop of light is, we're gonna make that our same orange color here. We can kind of even make it saber shaped. And then maybe even a little bit on this one too. And then when you zoom out, you get that nice kind of realism to the saber there, right reflected in his eye, it's pretty cool. Okay, so here it is with the eye light and without just adds a little bit more life to the photo. It's not something you have to do, it's just something I personally have gotten kind of into doing, and if you're into it, you can do it too. So that's pretty much all there is to it when you're creating a lightsaber. I'm gonna go ahead and create the other one, and I'm gonna show you what it looked like after I've also applied some other general retouching. I brightened up his face, I kind of added a little saturation here and there to the photo. Okay, so that's before any retouching on the sabers, and that is after the retouching. Okay, then I'll show you what it looks like without the reflections. So that's no color reflections with color reflections. So it definitely looks a bit more realistic. So that's with the eye lights, and that's without. With, without. Again, some people might like that, some people might not, so kind of do it as you prefer your sabers and your Jedi's to be. Or Sith Lords. Okay, so I'll walk through one more with you. This is another uh, lightsaber. It's a purple one. This is Mace Windu's niece, Jenny Windu. She's from Alabama. So we'll show you how to set up the lightsaber and also how to add those reflections and do a little bit of retouching as well. Okay, so we're gonna make that layer for our saber to be on. And remember, we're gonna select that we're gonna select, modify, expand that just a couple pixels. And then we're also going to modify and feather that. And then we're going to fill that with white. And then we're going to come over here and add a layer style, double click your layer to bring that up. And we're gonna do outer glow. And again, we'll do the screen. Remember to select screen for your blending mode. Okay, so that's before the outer glow and after. We're also going to add those reflections on again. So remember, put the reflection layer and we're going to select our brush tool and we're gonna paint with that same purple. Come over here to the blending mode and let's do overlay. And then the last thing is the eye light. So there is the eye light and without the eye light and this was our uh, final photo. So I also adjusted the color and the tone of the photo a bit, retouched uh, the skin a bit. So here's some pictures of our befores and afters with and without lightsaber effects.
So as you can see, in just a few minutes, you can transform your photos from Tatooineies to Tattoo Wowies. Mm. And, you know, spice up all those photos of you dressed up as Obi-Wan Kenobi for Halloween last year. I mean, if you have an Obi-Wan Kenobi outfit, which I don't. All right, I'm Christian with Film Jams. Let us know what you'd like to see in our next tutorial. And may the force be with you. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, I'm George Lucas, and you should subscribe to Film Jams. <laughs> Thanks, George Lucas from Montreal, Canada. Okay. Uh, <clears throat>